In today's video, we'll be going over how you can play two huge PlayStation 4 multiplayer titles for free. One of them is having a free weekend this weekend. And there's an upcoming multiplayer title that we talked about recently. It's open beta has been confirmed. And I want to go through that as well. Also, we've got the official launch date for World War Z, a game I've talked about a little bit. But now we know that we're going to be able to play the game very soon. Metro Exodus has gotten a brand new trailer ahead of its release this Friday. Bioware is currently hard at work on Anthem. We know that they're working on a new Dragon Age. But maybe you're wondering if Mass Effect is still in the realm of possibility. And Bioware is saying that they're definitely not done with Mass Effect yet and there's a lot more story to be told. And lastly, I do want to take a look at some great PlayStation 4 game deals that are available right now at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. First of all, you can try out a couple of PlayStation 4 games free. One of them is going to be free this weekend, Rainbow Six Siege, so it's having yet another free weekend. And the game trial will be running from February 14th until February 17th, and this is right ahead of the live stream that they're about to hold to show off Year 4 Season 1 content, so that's a pretty interesting thing as well. Great timing as far as the Rainbow Six Siege free weekend. Rainbow Six Siege has been one of the most compelling multiplayer experiences all of this generation and it's pretty shocking because when this game was released it was received pretty well but i don't think a lot of gamers expected it to have the longevity that it has had and now we're literally going into year four of content for the game and that is pretty remarkable and for those of you that have yet to check out the game maybe you played it way back at launch and you haven't jumped back in well if you want to it'll be available absolutely free this weekend of course it's only free for a duration and then it won't be free but usually with these free weekends they do have a significant discount attached to the game we don't have any indication as far as if that is gonna happen but that's something i'll notify you guys of also speaking of ubisoft multiplayer games while rainbow six siege has had some incredible longevity the division is another game with a lot of longevity and now we're getting a sequel to the first game in the division 2 and its open beta will be running from march 1st until march 4th there was a private beta that just ran however that was exclusive to people that pre-ordered the game and people that signed up and it was basically luck of the draw but now the beta is going to be available for everyone the private beta did have have some technical issues but hopefully that is remedied with the division 2 of course those network and technical issues are to be founded the word beta however is really starting to lose its meaning when there's an open beta running for a game a couple weeks ahead of its release is it really a beta a beta was something in the past that would happen you know three to six months prior to the release not two weeks before a game's release but hey at least it still gives them a chance to iron out some of the issues at least it gives us as the gamers a chance to play the game before we actually drop our money on the game so there's definitely a lot of positives but to me the word beta is just being attached to these games now just because the word beta sounds cool to casual consumers if you actually know what a beta is this really isn't a beta but hey you'll be able to play the division 2 free from march 1st until the 4th rainbow six siege will be available free this weekend moving on from that let's talk about another multiplayer game that has my personal interest and that is world war z world war z is a game being done by saber interactive and i talked a little bit about it but now we have an official release date for april 16th along with that if you pre-order the game you will get the lobo weapon pack and the game is coming at a budget price point of $39.99 so that's pretty cool and here's an overview of the game from Saber Interactive while World War Z's core four-player co-op pits players against relentless swarms of AI zombies the player versus players versus zombies mode PvPvZ offers a completely unique experience challenging you to outlive both the living and the dead across a variety of different competitive modes designed for four versus four combat what separates PvPvE and World War Z from other multiplayer games is the zombie swarm which storms the arena throughout the match forcing players to battle both both each other and the undead and allowing the tide of the fight to turn in an instant. World War Z will launch with the following multiplayer modes. There'll be Scavenge Raid, Vaccine Hunt, Swarm Deathmatch, Swarm Domination, and King of the Hill. Again, if this game was priced at a full $59.99, I could see a lot of people being a little bit skeptical to try it out, but at a budget $40 price point, I think that's a lot more palatable, and I do think more people are going to check it out had it been priced at $60. Even for some of you guys, $40 might be too high. We'll see how this game resonates with consumers because around this time period, there's a lot of competition in terms of big game releases. Days Gone is right around this time period. There are other multiplayer games. People still might be stuck to games like Anthem and The Division 2. So there's a lot of competition for World War Z. So far, what I've seen has looked rather interesting, but we'll see how the game pans out. And I'll keep you guys posted, but we do know it'll be dropping on the PS4 on April 16th.
A game that we're not gonna have to wait too long for is Metro Exodus. That is coming this Friday, and we have gotten a brand new trailer for the game in Metro Exodus, the Special Weapons Class trailer. This trailer takes a closer look at the Special Weapons Class in Metro Exodus featuring the Helsing and Takar. Shows off a lot of the different gameplay and the guns themselves, and there looks to be a lot of depth to the gameplay. Unlike Metro 2033 and Metro Last Late, where the games were relatively linear, Metro Exodus is still gonna have its linearity attached to it. However, the levels are gonna be a little bit more open, allowing you to explore a little more and probably allowing for more depth in how you tackle specific situations. If you've yet to play the Metro games, 2033 and Last Light are available as the Metro Redo Collection. Those are both on the PlayStation 4. They run really well. They play really well. Yes, they're single-player first-person shooters, but they're very atmospheric, very good storytelling, and just great games all around, but I do fully expect Metro Exodus to be a complete level above Metro 2033 and Last Light. Here's the official description for Exodus from Deep Silver. Metro Exodus is an epic story-driven first-person shooter from 4A games that blends deadly combat and stealth with exploration and survival horror in one of the most immersive game worlds ever created. Flee the shattered ruins of dead Moscow and embark on an epic continent-spanning journey across post-apocalyptic Russia in the greatest Metro adventure yet. Explore the Russian wilderness in vast non-linear levels and follow a thrilling storyline inspired by the novels of Dmitry Golovsky that spans an entire year through spring, summer, and autumn to the depths of nuclear winter. So seasonal changes is also going to be an element to the game. Expect a lot of variety in the different guns. There's just a lot to sink your teeth into with Metro Exodus and it's exciting to know that we're only a few days away from the official release. It'll be dropping on February 15th. Another game that's coming out very soon is Bioware's Anthem. That'll be coming a week after Metro Exodus on February 22nd. However, with Bioware working on Anthem, with them working on a new Dragon Age game, that raises the question, what is the future of the Mass Effect franchise? Well, don't worry, Mass Effect is here to stay. Mark Dara, who is the executive producer on Anthem, said this about Mass Effect. Quote, we're definitely not done with Mass Effect. There's a lot of stories to be told. We could pull on the threads we put down with Andromeda. We could pull on the threads from Mass Effect 3. There's a lot of interesting space to be explored. On the on the other hand, Bioware General Manager Casey Hudson also added to this saying, quote, in my mind, it's very much alive. I'm thinking all the time about things that I think will be great. It's just a matter of getting back to it as soon as we can. Mass Effect Andromeda at this point is nearly two years old, and of course, that was one of the more disappointing games of this generation, but after years have passed, after you kind of lose that sense of the high expectations we had with Andromeda, going back and picking that game up for what, south of $10, you actually get a pretty decent RPG. Is it at the level of the original Mass Effect trilogy? Absolutely not, but there are compelling elements to Andromeda, and I do think that if you go back to that game with an open mind, you will find an exceptionally great RPG. It's nowhere near the top of the list of the best RPGs. RPGs of this generation, but there are things to like about the game, and I do think there's a lot of potential in Mass Effect going forward. They just need to get back to the right place. But of course, right now, Bioware is committed to a lot of different projects. Anthem is a game that's going to have a lot of longevity to it, and they're going to try to keep that game updated. And then after that, you have to wonder about the Dragon Age game. That Dragon Age game probably isn't going to come out for a couple of years, and then after that, you would think is when they would put out a new Mass Effect. So a new Mass Effect is a long ways away, but it has not been buried yet. It probably will happen at some point. And lastly, I got a couple of great deals for you guys. First of all, .hack GU Last Recode is available for $18 and change over at Amazon. That's a great deal on that. I really dug this collection. If you don't know, it's a collection of the .hack GU games that were released on the PlayStation 2. Those games had a crazy release pattern where they essentially told a singular story. However, the game was separated into three separate games, each $50. So if you wanted the entire story, you were literally dropping $150. So that wasn't all too great. GU Last Recode for $18.44, you get those three games. And you get an additional fourth episode that is relatively small, but a nice inclusion as well. You usually don't see that in collections. So that was a nice thing to throw in as well. Also, Amazon has got Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight, as well as Persona 5 Dancing in Starlight. Both of those have been discounted from their regular $59.99 price point to $39.99. Their Dancing Persona game is kind of a hard sell. If you're a big Persona fan, you will enjoy it. If you like the music of Persona, which how can you not? They'll definitely be right up your alley. I still think $40 is a little bit steep of a price point, but nonetheless, we'll leave links to those in the description box as well. And that's gonna conclude this video. Again, you can play Rainbow Six Siege for free this weekend. You'll be able to play the Division 2's open beta from March 1st to March 4th. So those two multiplayer games will be yours to try for free in the coming weeks. World War Z will be dropping on April 16th. Metro Exodus has gotten a brand new trailer with the Special Weapons Class trailer. Very excited for that game. Again, it drops February 15th. Bioware is saying that there's still more stories to be told in Mass Effect, and I imagine that we are gonna see a new ME title, probably on the PlayStation 5 and probably after 
after the release of the new Dragon Age game. And again, check out those great deals on .hack, GU, Last Recode, and the Persona Dancing Games. Links to those in the description box below. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.